Hi guys, welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. And today, we're going to do a review of a new whiskey. I was out hunting per the use, you know, every day. And I came across a brand new whiskey that I've never heard of before. And I've only ever seen in one liquor store. And so, of course, I grabbed it because... When you see something new, something interesting, you got to check it out. Warbringer. Warbringer is a mesquite smoked Southwest bourbon. It's a bourbon that's finished and then in sherry casks. This is produced and bottled in Oxnard, California. Now, I will say that it doesn't say anywhere on the label where it is distilled, but it does say that Warbringer, finely crafted with strong blends of hand-roasted mesquite smoked corn and malted rye, the result is a heavy-hitting flavor with a deep and smoky taste that will surely ruffle your feathers. Uh, this was released in 2020. It's batch number six, and uh, the distiller is David Brand. And other than that, it doesn't say... It says, the big beast within this bottle is not to be trifled with. Be easy and savor the massive flavor of this one. It's 98 proof. It's, um, it, sell, it says Seppi Creek Distillery, established 2016. I've never heard of Seppi Creek Distillery before this. It's in Oxnard, California. The brave maker of this one that might cause a ruckus but it'd be worth a damn fine ace-high bonafide bottle of hooch that's worth it. I don't know if that's a correct, correctly worded sentence, but whatever. Now, I will say, clearly, I've had a pour or two out of this bottle. And this is one of the more interesting whiskeys that I... Oh, damn. One of the more interesting whiskeys that I've tried this year. The name alone and the fact that it's mesquite smoked um, made me purchase it <laughs> right in the middle. Uh, it has a couple other things it says. It says produced in very small batches. And then on the other side, it says barreled in alligator char casks. And then right in the middle, it says the cock of the walk, big beast of bourbon. Whoever came up with the marketing for this bottle, you clicked all the buttons. You clicked all the little check marks. You you did it. You did it. You did good. It says a lot of interesting things. It says a lot of the things that are going to make me buy a bottle. And then I opened it. It is a smoky, magnificent bastard. On the nose, I get the mesquite smoked smoke. I get burnt ends, like barbecue burnt ends of meat. It's like brand new boot leather. Like the inside of the boot. Like brand new. Not ones you walk, walked around in them for a, a month or two. Brand new boot leather. Mm. Mm. Undercurrent of oak, then that leather, the smoke is there throughout the entire experience, the burnt ends are there on the end of the palate. There's a, a, a sweetness that's creamy and vanilla right through the middle. It's like a, a ribbon running right through the middle of your tasting experience. Oh, man. That is just ridiculously complex. There's so much happening at once. There's these dark fruits like dates and... and um, and raisin and 
a little bit of dried apricot happening. Oh, the nose is overwhelmed a little bit by the mesquite smoke. The mesquite smoke and the leather are the two biggest notes that come through on the nose. But on the palate, there's a whole nether bouquet of flavors happening. Oh, oh my gosh. If you don't love, if you don't like smoke, you, you might not like this. This is probably not for everyone. There, I know a few of my buddies will not like this bottle because they're not into smoky stuff. For me, this is amazingly complex. This is probably in my top five for, for whiskeys that I've tried this year. I'm going to be doing that video soon. The 2020 top five bourbon American whiskeys. Um, wow. It, it's just, it's ridiculous. I'm going to be going back to that liquor store that had this and getting a couple more bottles just in case. Because I've only ever seen it at that one store. And I'm terrified that this might disappear without me getting a few more bottles to add to my collection. If you're into smoky whiskey... Keep your eyes open for Warbringer Southwest Bourbon Mesquite Smoked. Good grief. It is just ridiculous the amount of things that are happening in this glass. Oh my gosh. It's just beautiful and... It's like you're drinking whiskey next to a smoker that's smoking meat. That's the, the, the feeling that I get. I go over to my buddy's house pretty often and he smokes chicken wings or, you know, or, or whatever. We do some steak or whatever on his little green egg. And, and this reminds me of drinking whiskey while that smoke is wafting around the patio. You know, just, oh, mm. ridiculously good. And, you know, and I get, I don't get much of the rye. Like, I don't pick up much of a rye sensation on this whiskey. And obviously it says malted rye. And I kind of smell the malted rye, but it doesn't come across very forcefully. It doesn't overpower anything. It's, I pick up that, that smoked corn so much more. And then the notes of sherry with the, the dates and the raisin and the dark fruit really showing up on the palate, uh, there's a hint of it on the nose, but mostly it shows up on the palate. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's a, it's somewhere in between boot leather and saddle leather. And now if you've ever been around horses, uh, like I have grown up around horses, saddle leather is one of the best smells in the world. Boot leather, brand new boot leather. Is one of the best smells in the world to me. And this reminds me of that. It reminds me of, of boot leather and saddles and riding horses. And this is a Western country cowboy whiskey if there was ever one on the market. If you're into those kind of flavors, into big, bold, punch you in the face skin up your knuckles, skin up your knees maybe, wrestle a little calf to the ground, bold flavors, then this is for you. This is a put some bass in your voice and grow some, grow some hair on your chest and turn you into a man whiskey. That's what this is. If you're ready for that adventure, grab a bottle. This is definitely up there in some of the best whiskey that I've had this year. Thanks for watching. Check out the link for Patreon in the description below. Until next time, have a great day.